Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you test case format. Normally, most of the companies are using Excel for writing the test cases. So, I'm moving to the next slide. And here are the column names which we are going to use normally while writing the test cases. Each and every company can have its own format for designing the test cases. But here in the session, I'm covering standard test case format. So I'm starting Excel. Most of the companies are writing test cases in the Excel. I started an Excel sheet. So if we see, we have few column names like test case ID, description, prerequisite, we call it precondition as well, steps, data, expected result, actual result, status, and comment. So I'm moving to the Excel sheet and here. So I'm designing the format over here. So it's test case ID is the first column. Then we have description. I'm going to explain what all the details we need to enter in all these columns. Test case ID, description. Then we are moving to the preconditions. So precondition. Then we have steps. Then we have data, expected result. Then we are moving to the next column, which is actual result. Then the status. And at the last, we have comment. This is the standard format of designing the test cases. I'm just doing some formatting, so increasing the size of few columns so we can easily understand it. And now, just a basic formatting, like I'm giving color coding to this header. So that's the header format I have given. Increase the font of the header so it can be easily you know understandable it can be easily identified so that's the header that we have developed so this is the standard format which we are going to use while writing the test cases few more fields which we can add while designing the test cases as of now I have shown you on the standard format which most of the companies are using but few fields which I found could be very effective while writing the test cases are these are not mandatory fields, but if you use that, it will bring effectiveness in your test cases. So one is priority, type and bug ID. I'm moving to my standard format and here I'm adding two columns. So these are the two columns. One, I want to give priority. Priority means uh, like how important this test case is. We can set P1, P2, P3 or maybe a high, medium or low. Second is type. What kind of test cases? We have the different type of testing. Functional, GUI, usability, compatibility. So here we can define what kind of testing this particular test case is covering. So that we can set in the type. And the last is bug ID. This column will be used when we are running our test case and the test case get filled. In case of the test case failure, we are going to report a defect. Once the defect is reported, you are going to pick that bug ID and you are going to place the bug ID over here. Whenever anybody else in your team is going to look these test cases, can easily identify if the test case has failed, what is the bug number for this test case. So that's the three more columns which we can add to the test while writing the test cases. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.